Hello everyone. In today's lecture, we are going to see the difference between longitudinal and transverse wave. Now, as we have already mentioned that sound wave is a mechanical wave and the sound wave travels in the form of rare fraction and compression, right? So, let's see wh what does the nature of sound fall into that is either longitudinal or transverse because as we know sound wave is a mechanical wave and mechanical waves are of two types that is transverse and longitudinal or longitudinal and transverse. So, let us see how these longitudinal and transverse waves are uh, formed and then we will see what is the difference between them and we will then we will give you the exact clarification that how the sound wave is a longitudinal wave, okay. Now, here is the picture for you. As you can see, there is a thread or a string, okay. One end is fixed to a wall and you are holding the other end, okay. Now, you move it in a vertical direction, vertically up and vertically down, okay. Now, you can generate a wave and that wave travels towards the fixed end, right. And in other case, what you do is you pull it to and fro or forward and backward, right. In that case, you can see that wave is generated, but in some region over here, in here in, in this region, there is a low intensity or you can say it is a region of rare fraction and here the density is more. So, you can say that the region over here is compression. So, rare fraction, compression and rare fraction. So, it depends on the type of vibration, whether that vibration is perpendicular or horizontal. If the vibration is perpendicular to the direction of motion of the wave, then this that type of waves are known as transverse wave. And if the vibration of the particles is in the same direction as of the wave, it is called as longitudinal wave, okay. So, I hope you got the idea now how the particles in a medium vibrate. If the particles in a medium vibrate perpendicularly to the direction of motion of the wave, then those type of waves are called as transverse wave, okay. And if the vibration of the particles are in the same direction that is horizontal as in the same direction of the motion of the wave, then those type of waves are called as longitudinal waves. Now, I hope you have got the idea now behind the sound wave because sound waves which we saw in our example in the previous lecture that the sound wave produced by the tuning fork, right, or the prongs of the tuning fork and the wave push and push the wave, I mean air fo uh, forward and backward and created two types of region that is high density and low density region. In that way, it was moving, the wave was moving forward in the form of compression and rarefaction that is the region of high density and low density. So, sound is generally then longitudinal wave or sound is a longitudinal wave which is nothing but a mechanical wave because it requires particles to make the disturbance move from one point to other point or to make the wave travel from one point to other point. So, I hope this experiment makes you clear about the type of waves, right, that is longitudinal and transverse wave. So, if the particles of the medium vibrate perpendicularly to the direction of motion of the wave, then of course, over here the direction of the wave is in this direction, okay, this one also, okay. So, now if we, if we can say that if the particles are vibrating in the direction perpendicular to the direction of wave, then those are transverse wave. And if the direction of vibration of the particle is horizontal, that is same in the direction of motion of the wave, then those are called as longitudinal, right. And our sound wave is nothing but a longitudinal wave. So, here is the picture as you can see, there is a sound producing or you can say speaker which is the source of the sound and the sound is moving, the sound wave is moving in the form of compression and rear fraction and it is reaching towards the receiver or the human ear and there is another wave which is a transverse wave and the particles they seem to vibrate perpendicularly. If we combine all those vibrations of all the particles, it looks like this that is called as transverse wave. 
so longitudinal wave the particles they vibrate in the same direction as in the direction of motion of the wave and in case of transverse wave that is the particles will vibrate in the perpendicular direction as to the direction of motion of the wave right so now let's see the text of longitudinal and transverse wave and their difference also so longitudinal wave if the particles of a medium move along the direction of propagation of the wave the wave is called as longitudinal wave and a transverse wave if the particle of a medium moves perpendicular to the direction of propagation of the wave the wave is called a transverse wave and here is the difference between the two longitudinal the movement of the medium is in the same direction as the particle or the movement of the medium is perpendicular to the direction of propagation of wave in case of transverse see the difference it acts only in one direction and transverse it acts in two dimension that is uh, horizontal plane and vertical plane both okay and uh, this wave can be produced in medium such as solid liquid and gas okay for longitudinal but in transverse this wave can be produced only in solids and only on liquids surface but not in gas that is not in air and for longitudinal it is made of rare fractions and compression and in case of transverse it is made of troughs and crest now what is trough and crest so if i consider a transverse wave over here suppose this one okay the upper amplitude or the positive amplitude okay amplitude means the maximum upper length of the wave okay half length so this thing is known as crest and this thing over here is known as trough so crest occurs in positive amplitude and trough occurs in negative amplitude of the transverse wave so that was all about our longitudinal and transverse wave and their difference i hope you understood right so that was all thank you